All right, characteristics of a homosexual squatter. So the homosexual squatter does not need shelter. I need you to understand this. It seems like they do, but they don't need shelter. They don't need money. They don't need sex. They just need a house. So what they'll do is they will pretend for you in different ways. They'll give you sex. Uh, they may even, the first time they get access to money, give you a little bit of something just to pretend like y'all are in a relationship and y'all are working together and this is going to work out and I know he's the one and I know she's the one type crap. But they don't really need what you think they need. They need a, a, a dwelling, a house, because they will turn around and move from your shelter, the place that you are providing for them. They will turn around and move from your place to another place. So that tells you, because anyone who needs shelter is going to do the steps, commit to the steps of, of, of getting a job, doing what they need to do to keep that job, getting a place, doing what they need to do to keep that place, and not have to depend on other people unless there is a dire emergency type situation. But they don't need shelter, not in the sense that we, we need shelter, not in the sense that we got to have our own place. Not in the sense that we got to uh, keep our own place because we don't want to live with a relative. We don't want to live with our mother or father or brother or sister, right? Not in the sense that uh, I would rather keep my own place even though I got a man or even though I got a woman. Not in that sense. They don't need shelter in that sense. They don't need money. They Because they know that they can rebound between multiple people to get money. That's why you'll hear some of these uh, YouTubers talk about you know, dating rotations because they can, they'll use a woman, they'll purpose a woman to be uh, a companion, a friend. They will purpose a woman to be uh, a cook, a purpose a woman to be um, uh, a vice, um, sexual part partner. A lot of times they have sex with all those women because they know if, if they want to be able to get any money out of them, they're going to have to, uh, sort of prostitute themselves. They will purpose a woman who gives them money. I've heard uh, stories about men who can get $100 from one woman, $200 from another, $50, $25, uh, $75. And by the end of that sort of, sort of negotiations with those women, he got his rent, he got his car payment, he got some food. Because a lot of women will also stock the refrigerator, right, with food. Um, and so he basically is living a high life. That that can't last long because some of these women are going to find out about each other. But they don't need money. A lot of times they have money. They just hoard it. They don't tell you that they have money. Uh, and, who, and, and however way they use their money is for the person who doesn't want them. Men tend to uh, be stingy with women who want them. Uh, who are good for them, and they uh, tend to give a whole lot of money to women who don't want them, because that woman is always calling. Sometimes it's a Jezebel spirit. Uh, I, I had one uh, ex who um, whose ex told him that I can call you anytime I want to, and I know you come running. Okay, that's a Jezebel spirit. So they don't need money. They need money for another type of purpose, like they're trying to convince whoever uh uh, to be with them, to be with them. And, and look, I'm going to go get a job and I'm going to go get a place and I'm going to get some money and I'm going to contribute. But when it comes to you, they're not going to do those things. So they don't, they don't really need money. They don't need sex. They can get sex anywhere now. Sex is very uh, uh, pervasive, like in culture and in, in, in society. You don't, you don't even necessarily have to pay for it anymore, right? Folks will give up sex. So they don't really need sex. And then what they uh, what they need is a house. They need a place where they can reside and wonder and do stupid stuff. And um, um, they need the equivalent of a fallback person, right? And so they can have five fallback people, which is called a uh, which is called a dating rotation or just um, uh, polyamorous type situation, they just need a house. They need a place. 